Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're going to go in about five minutes into overdrive here, trying to take some calls from people who waited a very long time. We had to put them on further hold to take some calls about Bilderberg for Daniel Estelin. And one of the people who's waited a very long time is Catherine from Virginia. Catherine, go ahead. Thank you for waiting so long. Honor to speak with you, and thank you for what you did um, out west and helping that family. Well, thank you. We were, we were happy to do that, and thank you for supporting us, because without your support, we couldn't do that sort of thing. What was your question or comment today? Well, my comment was I... I uh, Hitting point by point, uh, as Alex and your and, and your organization has pointed out for years, the demonization of uh, veterans, the purge of the military command, the VA scandal, Bergdahl scandal, and I can't help but think there's been a lot of talk about, oh, I think the mainstream media is turning on Obama and they're reporting about this. Well, I have another take on that. If um, if you'll bear with me, I, I believe that this is a, de a deliberate uh, provocation of the military and uh, other patriots uh, to, to uh, exercise um, emotions to a boiling point so that they can pull off a false flag and then blame it on veterans or patriot groups who were provoked to anger by these by the ineptitude of the president. And um, uh, further, uh, five years ago, I was the Republican nominee uh, in the 99th District of Virginia. And uh, this will all tie together. If you can bear with me, I'll try to sure. be Sure, go ahead. Um, I was contacted. We, we, the first dis district is, is uh, a massive waterfront district uh, uh, bordered by the uh, Potomac and the Rappahannock River. At, at any rate, I was contacted by some retirees up in uh, Montrose, Virginia, who were upset because O'Gara was moving into their community. And apparently they had greased the skids of the Board of Supervisors to approve them as a school. That's how they got into the district. And they were upset, wor worried about environmental concerns. And these were, a lot of these were government retirees, so they had a uh, you know, very well-educated people, and they had been doing their homework. And as the Republican nominee, they wanted to know where I would stand on this issue. And so they started to describe to me what their research had turned up. And uh, they told me that their research had turned up that Obama had given the um, uh, uh, DynCorp, DynCorp, a billion-dollar contract, and that contract involved establishing these schools. In uh, the within two hours of, of Washington D.C., and so they de described where some of these schools were set up, and coming they're coming from a completely unconscious place, uh, not related to what I'm thinking, because I'm seeing a perimeter in my brain mm -hmm. around Washington D.C. of private contractors. Uh, fast forward to that midsummer uh, at my booth in my local hometown where I had my, you know, the Republican Party had a booth set up. And I didn't realize till later that this person was spying on me. Um, uh, this person was wearing a um, uh, Blackwater T-shirt. Long story short, um, he'd been sitting behind our booth for hours. I was, I was really unconscious, not, not uh, expecting such a thing. And so I asked him if I could bring some water to him. He had a little dog. And we're almost out of time. Get, we're almost anyway, out of time. Yeah. I, I said, oh, you're with Blackwater. And, and uh, so I engaged him in conversation, and I talked about O'Gara in Westmoreland County like I, as a, not a question, but a statement saying, so you're setting up a perimeter around Washington, D.C. Uh, what, what's that for? He said, well, it's for a situation that our military won't be able to handle. Anyway. Well, we certainly know that they're preparing for a lot of different things. As uh, those who've watched us know, we went through the, the place where they're preparing in Virginia, as well as another one that they've got in uh, 
North Carolina. They're preparing for civil unrest and for martial law. And that's a good point. They may be deliberately trying to provoke veterans with this trade. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Join us tomorrow at 11 Central. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find Jones, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at InfoWars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to...